and welcome to the Data Standard Digital Event Series. My name is Darren Kaplan and I am your host. For all of you who are new to the Data Standard, we are a user community made up of data science, artificial intelligence, and machine learning experts. In today's conversation, we were lucky enough to sit down with Josh Ardmark. He is the CTO and co-founder of Pandio. They are a hot startup out of San Diego. And in today, Josh is gonna to talk to us about Presto by Facebook. And we're gonna use public data sources around museum data to show you what kind of queries that you can run using Presto. So please enjoy our conversation and we'll see you at the other side. I'm gonna share my screen here, but I'm gonna set the stage before I do that. So the last time we spoke, um, I briefly talked about Presto. So I just wanna kind of re-explain that before I show this demo and then we'll talk more about it. But um, so Presto is a, it's a very interesting technology. Um, it, it's basically a distributed SQL query engine. Um, it's open sourced uh, by Facebook. Uh, I really like Presto because it's um, a bit of a different look at the way to sort of query in the data. Um, traditionally, it's you want copy data, move it into a warehouse or, or some other methodology. Uh, the interesting thing about Presto is it queries data in place. Um, so what I'm gonna show you today, let me share my screen real quick, make sure everything's working well. So this is the data that Catherine and Christina helped us source. Um, so one of the limitations of Presto is, is it typically needs access to a database or a flat file. Um, so Christina and Catherine helped us sort of brainstorm the type of data that would be kind of relevant and easy to sort of show an example. So, so I've got one from the Museum of Modern Art here. You can see it's part of the open uh, access Pro, like it's a, some sort of standard where museums sort of expose their data externally. Um, so you'll see here, it's just right up here on GitHub. So anybody can go grab it. This artwork CSV is one of the files that I grabbed. So I just came here and downloaded this file. No prep, no ETL, just raw file, whatever this museum kind of put out there. And you'll see it kind of needs some ETL when I show you some of the data, but, but that's fine. You can still, you know, um, do a lot with it because you, you'll have access to SQL. Presto basically lets you run SQL against these data sets. And then the second data set I have was uh, from the Met. So um, very similar, just another CSV. Um, and then what's inside of these CSVs is, is pretty standard. So, um, so let me switch to a different screen here real quick. All right, let me know. Can you guys see the terminal okay here? Yes. Coming through okay? Okay, perfect. So, so what you're basically looking at here is I took those two data sets and I put them into AWS S3. And I only used AWS just to quickly put this demo together. Uh, AWS also has Presto as like a one-click install on their EMR service. So that's what you're looking at right now. I've got Presto running inside of AWS um, and I'm inside of one of those machines and I'm able to run SQL commands against it. So, so what you'll sure to see here is, uh, um, so I just did a command show tables. So I've got the three CSVs that I just showed you loaded up here. And again, the beauty of Presto is you really just have to point it at a lot of this data, set up the schema, and then you're in. So here's these two kind of tables from a description standpoint. So you can see kind of your traditional uh, um, data frame here. We've got our columns, the data types, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's the, the one side of it. And then here's the other data set. Uh, so this is basically all the artworks from the Met and uh, the other museums in New York City. And what I wanna show with Presto is that I can sort of run various different joins against these two data sets. So they're using different column formats. Um, uh, you know, they're basically two different tables which represent the files that I just showed you. And, and here's kind of the crux of it. So this is the beauty of what this can do right here. So if we look at that statement, you can run sort of anything you can imagine. And that's, 
the beauty of Presto right here is it lets you run any SQL against those two data sets. It sets them up in such a way where they look like tables. Again, I'm querying into that flat file. It almost appears like there's an actual physical table on this machine here but there actually isn't. It's just a meta store. It just looked at the file, pulled things out and made it look like a table so that I can run any SQL query that I could imagine against it. So you see the query that I wrote there, all it does is it joins the two tables on the artist names. So if you look towards the end of that query, so they've got the, the field from the one data set, what they named artist display name. I didn't change anything. I didn't rename columns. I didn't do anything. I took the files exactly as they were. And then I joined on the artist name. Uh, and you'll see I had to add a little bit of a conditional just because these, these data sets are rough. I mean, it's, it's people at these museums and Christina, I don't think she can make it today, but she would have explained that uh, data is not fantastic. But that's the beauty of Presto giving you full SQL is you can do some pretty basic uh, ETL like stuff if you need to transform things, if you need to do a substring or anything like that. So now what's very interesting and the last thing I'll show you here. Um, so I'm gonna run this query. This query, as you can see, is running against about 300 megs of data. Um, and it's running through all the sort of rows of that table and it's matching up the artists to try to show, you know, what artists are in all the museums um, or what artwork is in one museum for that same artist and then what artworks in another museum for the same artist. That's what this query is just trying to roughly show. So I'll run it here and keep in mind when I run this, it's, it's running against those remote files and you'll see just how absolutely insanely fast this is because Presto typically when I write this query and then I submit it to Presto it's got a query planner so it takes that query and it chunks it up almost like a MapReduce and then it runs it using a bunch of parallel processes so I could add 50 machines to this sort of cluster and it would distribute that query across all 50 run it and then bring it back into my sort of terminal here. So this is a very powerful interactive editor that I'm looking at and I'm using this on a CLI, which is not visually fantastic, but LinkedIn has uh, released a UI uh, airplay and there's a bunch of other ones that give you a GUI around this. But Presto has a very powerful CLI, which is what I'm using right now. But I'm just going to submit this query. Um, and, and you can submit queries from anything. You can plug Tableau into Presto. So you can kind of load data in through Tableau this way, really any BI tool. Um, so let me just submit this. And again, this is a query with no limitations. It's going out there and having to scan a whole bunch of rows. Uh, and you can see, you know, what that take three seconds. And now I've got that join, which is not super expensive from SQL standards, but it's not cheap either. So, and I'll just scroll over here. So uh, right now I'm looking at sort of all the, uh, uh, the columns. So it merged it all together and it's showing me both data sets in a single data frame. So you can see artist display name here. So it's showing me just uh, where the artist name was the same between the two data sets. Um, so I just want to kind of show that basic little query and how you can now start building out that SQL query to do very different things. You, you can do some counts, you can do some distincts, things like that. Furthermore, you can go inside of Python or R and submit those same queries inside of your code and then get an actual data frame from pandas or something like that and start running it through your models as well to do some clustering and things like that. So you can really think of Presto almost like a database, but it's like an abstraction layer to a bunch of databases. I use the two files to simulate kind of two databases. You could have seven files plus two actual databases like MySQL or Redshift or Snowflake, really anything. That's one of the benefits of Presto is it can connect almost anything. And then on the flip side, it lets a lot of things connect into it to sort of leverage it. Uh, things like, you know, BI tools and things like that. So, um, so yeah, so that's really all I wanted to show is kind of what that all looks like, how Presto actually works at the end of the day and how you set it up. 
I'd be happy to sort of answer any questions. We also have Charles on the call. I don't know if, if he's got a demo, uh, but he's got something very interesting where um, he's got a similar piece of software to Presto called Apache Drill, and it can connect to APIs. So that's a limitation of Presto. Is it kind of needs a static data set, um, whereas he created something very cool that can tie into an API and make an API look like a, a static data set. But I'd be happy to answer any questions or, or give the floor over to Charles. I always enjoy sitting down with Josh. It was really interesting to see what you can do with public data around museum information using Presto. Um, for everyone who wants to get in touch with Josh and see what else Pandio can do for you, simply go to their website at Pandio, P-A-N-D-I-O.com. And for more information about the data standard, you can go to www.datastandard.io. We'll see you at our next episode.